In this video, I want to talk about the universe and about the power of your mind, the power of your subconscious mind, and things like that. And there's a lot more to the world that meets the eye. So there are things or forces around you, and even though you can't see them, doesn't mean that it's not there, okay? So I know this video is a little bit more special, and not everybody's going to agree with what I have to say, uh, but and it's up to you to use whatever you want to use and to disregard whatever you don't want to listen to. When it comes to life and death and the meaning of life, then uh, God, religion, plays a huge role in our lives. And the way people see it or believe certain things is uh, sometimes the center of their life. So whatever I'm going to talk about might not be uh, what you believe and it might be against what you believe or you might think that I'm completely wrong and that's okay. I just want to give you my point of view. Now, uh, the reason why I want to talk about this, this is because I had a near-death experience. So, I was at a point once, I was 36 years old, when my body or my spirit left my body and I was basically on the other side. And I want to talk about this a little bit. Um, and as I said, some people, they will not like to hear what I have to say. But basically, it was a positive experience. Okay, It was not a negative experience. It was something... Um, great. And I had to make the decision whether or not I wanted to come back into this life or not. And it was a time when, um, when you are at this point, when you realize what the meaning of your life is, and when you realize who you are and how the world and life and death works. And this is what I believe. You're a spiritual being and you've always been a spiritual being. So you're basically a soul. And you cannot die because your body can die. You have a physical experience, but your spirit spirit will just go into another world. Okay, if you want to call this heaven or whatever you want to call it. Now, um, the main thing in this life is that we learn certain lessons so that we can grow spiritually. And these lessons are things like to develop more love, understanding, uh, forgiveness, uh, awareness, uh, and so forth. Okay. Now, I believe that there is a physical world where we are in, and there is a spiritual world. And the spiritual world is where you're going to transition into when you die physically, okay? But um, in the spiritual world, you have support, so to speak. You have angels, you have spirit guides, you have other souls who are trying to lead you in the right direction, uh, who are trying to help you trying to teach you uh, certain lessons, so to speak, so that you can grow and evolve as a person. In the end, the universe is everything and everybody, and we're all connected. We're all somehow connected. And when we meet people, it's never random. Everything has a purpose, and everything happens for a reason. It's like a game of chess and the players are put together into this game for a particular reason so that a situation can happen uh, so that we can learn certain lessons. Sometimes you are the lesson for someone and sometimes the person who's maybe hurting you is the lesson for you. Now when people pass over into the spirit world um, sometimes they try to stay connected with you, especially let's say your grandparents or your parents or whoever died and, and is still around you. And sometimes you can feel it. Sometimes you have a dream about it or you get a sign or you see certain things. And I want you to um, develop more awareness and let's say look at the world around you. Try to see signs in this world and try to see if there is a message for your personal life, let's say you have a certain problem and you're not sure how to solve it, then the universe is sending you solutions. And maybe you've asked God or you asked the universe, whoever, whatever you want to believe. But you, you had some sort of a prayer where you said, please help me. I have this problem. I don't know what to do about it. 
can you please give me the solution? And sometimes you get a sign from the universe, you get a sign from God, and it's up to us to interpret how uh, or what that sign exactly means uh, for us. So develop that awareness and look around you. Now, a way to do that, for example, is also through electricity or numerology. Numerology is something like the star signs, okay? So don't take everything exactly uh, in a certain way. It's a interpretation and it's a guidance for your life, okay? So I believe you can't say, oh, I'm a Libra and because I'm a Libra, I always act this way. No, no, sometimes you just make stupid decision or you act a certain way where you shouldn't act uh, and you use your star sign as an excuse. Now, numerology is really interesting and once you start to look into it, uh, it's actually mind-blowing uh, the kind of things that it will reveal. Now, I want to uh, not really cover this, but I want to encourage you just to kind of study it. And then finally, I want to talk about your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is very, very powerful. And if you have any, have any dreams or wishes or desires, you can use the power of your subconscious mind to make those happen. Things like visualization or affirmation uh, are techniques that can help you to use the power of your subconscious mind to achieve certain goals. And sometimes all it takes is a couple minutes or you know three, four, five minutes per day to visualize, to write your, down your goals, and to imagine how you already have achieved your goals. And that will help you actually, it's like an order for the universe to help you achieve your goals quicker, because the more you send out in a certain way, uh, that's what the universe will try to attract into your life and make happen. And then finally, there are universal laws. Things like uh, if you have an action, there is a reaction, okay? So uh, there's a, a number of universal laws that we have in, in this world, or in the universe. And you cannot break uh, those universal laws. You cannot like uh, overcome those laws. They are the same for everyone. There's a number of universal laws, and there are 12 main laws, but there's, there's more. But if you understand or study the 12 laws, and they are, and let me read them here. They are the law of div divine oneness, the law of vibration, the law of action, the law of correspondence, the law of cause and effect, the law of compensation, the law of attraction, the law of perpetual transmutation of energy, the law of relativity, the law of polarity, the law of rhythm, and the law of gender. Once you study those 12 laws, you will become more aware of your own life. And if you stop fighting it, so to speak, your life will become better. We are all connected. And everything that we do or say somehow influences or affects other people in our life. So the universe is one big group. We are all together somehow, uh, good or bad, and everything that we do has an effect on somebody else or something else. So in this world, we can attract good or bad things into our lives with our thoughts, with vibration, with the emotion that we send out. And uh, when you are, let's say, predominantly happy, positive, that's what you will also attract. But if you have negative thoughts constantly, then you will also attract those kind of situations into your life. So I want to encourage you to study that subject a little bit more in depth. Okay, I can't cover the whole thing here. I just want to give you some awareness that this is really what life is all about. And uh, sometimes we work hard and we think we need to achieve uh, things like you know expensive cars and money and things like that. But those are, in the end, uh, all just uh, temporary things 
that we will attract along our way in our lives, but in the end, um, we will all die. <laughs> and what matters is what kind of lessons do we take from this life and what good have we done in this life and how did we grow in this life. So I want you to become more aware of the, of the spiritual uh, side of your life because you are a spiritual person. The universe is spiritual. We're all connected and everything is based uh, on, on that principle.